Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode number 391, Fillers, Injections, and Threading. Learn from an expert at BioBalance Skin. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about positive aging. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Maupin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about hormone replacement therapy for women, which is available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Today we want to introduce Ms. Dana Whalen. She's new on our staff at BioBalance Skin, which is one of our new divisions of BioBalance Health. What we have found is that in working hard to make you healthier and help you live with quality of life longer, that looking good is an essential ingredient in that. And so Dr. Maupin and her staff have created BioBalance Skin, which is a separate building, a separate office. And today we're gonna to talk with Ms. Whalen about what she does. She is a nurse injector who's recently come on staff and she gets to play with all the cool toys. They have, they have lots of exciting technologies at BioBalance Skin. So we hope that today perhaps you could discuss some of that with us, not only the toys, but the concept. There, there are some words that are new to me that I've been hearing just recently, right. uh, like threading uh, and, and PRP. Those are things I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I thought maybe you could take a few minutes and talk to us about what those are and how you do, how you do what you do. Absolutely. Well, we do have a lot of fun toys at BioBalance, and I am excited to be here. So thank you so much for having me. Um, one of the things that we're doing right now, we've realized that over time, one of the only toys or tools we've had in our bag is fillers. And unfortunately, there's only so much that I can do with fillers. And eventually, my clients start looking a little overfilled. Mm -hmm. So what we love about the threads is it Like gives, Billy Crystal. Or, exactly. Well, yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So one of the things that we love doing is we can now use the threads in the lower third of the face, which is one area that I'm not exactly thrilled about putting fillers. It's probably the first area that clients kind of start looking overfilled. Mm -hmm. So threads are kind of my first line of choice. And what I'll do is they basically, they're very, very easy to use, um, very easy to insert. Um, they're already preloaded on this cannula. I don't know if you can see that out there, but um, very, very easy, already preloaded. And what I'll do is I'll insert them in the lower third of the face. We're looking for certain vectors that we want to pull back. So if client doesn't like their jowls, you know, we'll put a couple of threads or, um, right in the lower face and it gives them a nice um, result that's natural looking. And then I'll use my fillers um, in, um, in the middle third of the face. So they kind of work in conjunction with each other. So some people call this the, the no scalpel facelift mm -hmm. because this is something that can be done in the office, doesn't take anesthesia, isn't particularly painful. Mm -hmm. It's like having filler where they, we inject different types of hyaluronic acid type uh, materials and fill up the face. It's mm -hmm. the same kind of procedure. What it isn't is threading for taking hair off your skin. So this is a whole different thing. We don't want to be confused with that. This is like having your face lifted with a material that actually dissolves over time after it has caused your face to to not scar, but but form collagen and lift. Mm -hmm. So it's lifting your face as you heal. And it just completely goes away over time. So it's not still in your face. It doesn't preclude you ever having a facelift or surgery on your face. Correct. It is. It was used in, or is used in cardiac surgery. It's very well tested and is not dangerous. Right, it's been used for over 25 years. So I feel very, very um, safe um, inserting them. Uh, it's a very safe product, we know that. And what I love is we use a multifaceted approach. So um, sometimes if a client needs a little lift, I'll use what we call um, the barb suture, um, our thread. And if a client just needs maybe a little bit of tone and texture, a little collagen stimulation, then we have what's called a smooth thread. And if someone needs a little bit of a fill, um, but I don't want to fill too much, um, but I just want to give them a little bit of a, a volume, then we have what's called the twist thread. So depending on what the client needs, we actually can customize our approach based on their needs and either pull out, we've got, we've got three different threads to use in our bag. So a lot of uh, fun toys. This is cutting edge. I mean, this, this is yes. like, no, this amazing. is like when I, she came in and said, 
oh, and I can do this too. And I can do this too. I went, oh my gosh, we have to hire her right away. <laughs> I mean, we need this. This is, it, it's always a competitive So you're using kind of the terminology thing. thread and injection. And I, I don't know who knows what out there. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about injections. Where do you put injections? What do you put in the injection? What do you use that for? Right. And so why do we need it? Well, I mean, over time, we as we age, we lose volume loss. That means we lose collagen. Uh, we actually lose some, you, some. Does that mean your skin sags? Or it does. does that mean you wrinkle? Or I mean, what, well, it does. When you, say when, volume you lose, loss. when you lose collagen, it does. It's kind of like deflating a balloon for okay. lack of a. And so basically, that does cause wrinkles. On so I'm the in outside. trouble already. Is what you're telling me. Not if you come to BioBalance. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I mean, we have bone loss, we have fat loss, we have collagen loss. So we really need to restore the volume. So I know clients do come in and they're a little confused. And so let me try to simplify this for them. In the upper third of the face, my favorite go-to is neurotoxins. So that would be Xeomin, that would be Botox or Dysport. And we do offer all three at BioBalance. Um, to meet your needs. So anytime, most of the time in the upper third of the face, when you have those frown lines, the crow's feet, those are usually due to dynamic expressions. So what the neurotoxin <laughs> does, yes. Yeah, so when you smile um, and, you know, the skin is attached to the muscle underneath and it causes that crease in the skin, right. um, we can actually relax that muscle and we can stop that crease from happening. And over time, those wrinkles will go away. So my first line of defense in the upper third of the face being from the eyes up is a neurotoxin. Then the middle third of the face, where we tend to lose the most volume, that would be a filler. And what I love at BioBalance is we offer all the fillers. So there is no one filler um, that does it all. I love the fact that I can customize it to my client based on how much volume they need. We offer Radius, which is a calcium-based product. We offer all the hyaluronic acids, Juvederm, Restylane, Versa, all of those. Um, so it, and, you know, some of the very thin hyaluronic acids that might need to go right under the eyes. So it's really customized to you. That's why we love our clients to come in, do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. And then, of course, in the lower third, as I mentioned, that's where I love pulling my threads out. Because a lot of times when we lose volume in our middle third, it ends up in our lower third. So we already have volume there. What I need to do is lift that volume and pull it back up where it used to be. So it doesn't have an escape outlet. It just hangs around it the jawline. It does, unfortunately, And yes. you can pull some of that back up or... or reestablish collagen so that it fleshes itself out and it doesn't absolutely look like and radius one of our fillers like radius i mean depending on where i place it i mean that creates collagen stimulation our threads create collagen stimulation i mean that's our goal is everything we do at biobalance we're trying to restore volume and create collagen stimulation but radius i mean i call it radius i'm sure i'm sure that that's wrong <laughs> no. uh, but but when you have, see somebody go into the room to get radius and they come out they look 10, 10 years younger right then because it's it usually used in the cheeks mm -hmm. and in the chin. And I believe, is that correct? Uh, there's a lot of, yes, mid face, mid -face. Um, to create a nice jawline. And so that soften pulls that everything up and it soften and it makes the circles go away. Right. Well, so, it's one of my favorite, favorite fillers mm -hmm. to pull out of the drawer because clients do, as Dr. Moffman was saying, clients do walk in and they walk out. And it's that instant wow, uh -huh. and your I have a smile on my face, they have a smile on their face, and everybody's happy. So well, I have to tell you, in the interest of full disclosure, my wife came to, to see Dawn last week. Dana, that's okay. I, Dana, sorry. <laughs> yes. And she sees Dawn, too. Yeah, and she sees, sees Dawn, Dawn too. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're all Ds. All Ds. <laughs> But she she uh, she had developed a full set of frown lines. She's taught third grade for thirty years, and she's been married to me for thirty years. So <laughs> that'll do I, it. I say causatively, it was teaching school. But <laughs> but she last night she was getting ready for bed. She said, "Oh, are, are you going to see Dana tomorrow?" And I said, "Yes, I am." And she said, "Tell her that I've never had fewer wrinkles." She did a superb Aww. job. So she's Aww. really excited. Well, thank about, you, mm -hmm. thank you. I love what I do. I really do. And that's the fun part. That's what she said about working with you, that, that you oh. were informed and articulate and comforting, and knowledgeable, that, that she felt like she knew what you were doing and she felt good about what you oh. were doing. Well, thank you. I, I mean, I take my job serious. I think it's extremely important to not just pick up a filler and just start sticking needles in yes. a patient's face. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to know your anatomy. I think it's important to understand, being able to look at the face in 3D. I mean, this is really mm -hmm. an art. 
Um, mm -hmm. And you have to understand where the volume came from to understand where the where to put the volume back in. So you spend time with is typically a woman, or do you get men as patients for this? Oh as no, well? our ma our male population is growing. It really, really is. And okay, so, so you would spend time with me then, saying, "What are your concerns? This is what I see. What are you worried about? And can we make this happen or that happen? I mean, how does that work? Absolutely." Um, you can just call BioBalance Skin, set uh -huh. up a consultation, okay. Um, and basically, we would sit down. And I like to sit down with a mirror, pad of paper. Let's talk about your concerns. Um, I do give you suggestions because you know a lot of clients don't know exactly what they need. So it's just really important that we have that repertoire, like I said, of products we can pull out of our, you know, out of our bag. Um, because there's not a one, you know, one syringe fits all type of mentality. And yeah, absolutely, we would spend time together and basically, you know, look at what your concerns are. And I would go over exactly what I would do and work out a game plan for you. So, one of the questions that I would have then is how long does this last? If I do this, am I stuck with it forever if I'm not happy? Mm -hmm. Or will I need to have it done again at some point if I am happy and it, as I continue to age, these conditions will redevelop, I assume? Absolutely. I mean, we cannot stop the aging process. So I tell everybody, I said, you know, this is a marathon. This is not a sprint. Okay. And, you know, we'll work out a 30, 60, 90 day plan with the client. And then I say, okay, now let's talk about touch-ups. You know, every product that we insert, you know, whether it be a filler or whether it be threads or neurotoxin, they all last a little bit different. And, and they also vary between clients. So I really sit down, I say, okay, you know, in 60 days or in 90 days, here's what's gonna happen and here's when I'd like to see you back. Um, and we work out a yearly plan too. I mean, getting clients on good medical grade skincare. Um, you know, yes, these are lifelong commitments that we are making because, you know, the aging process continues. Mm -hmm. But I think with the right products, with the right, in the right hands and coming to the right place like BioBalance, that definitely we can get you more longer term results. So it's been a, a major project at BioBalance Health to develop BioBalance Scan over the last year. You've been getting the office and decorating and setting up, getting the equipment, getting the staff. Dr. Moffin was excited when she got your name as someone to consider or to interview because of your experience in teaching other people to do the injections for the injectable companies. Could you speak a little bit about sure. your experience that way? Sure. Well, I mean, I've been in this industry for 25 years. Um, one of the things I actually introduced Radius to the market um, a long time ago. We won't say how long, <laughs> but um, so I have, you know, I'm a user of Radius. I'm a user of Bellatero. I'm a user of ZMN for years. And, you know, one of the things that I enjoyed doing was training. I trained a lot of injectors in multi-state areas. And now I am a MERS trainer, um, which what, um, what that gives me is it gives me the ability, I, I love teaching, I'm passionate about it, I'm passionate about this industry, is it gives me the ability to work with injectors one-on-one -on -one and share with them my knowledge, share with them my expertise, um, but you know, there's also times when I still learn from them. I learn something new every single week. And I love that about this industry. It's always evolving. It's always moving. Mm -hmm. It's what I love about Dr. Maupin. I can come to her with the most cutting edge product. And I'm like, now Dr. Maupin, no one else in St. Louis is doing this, which there are very, very few offices doing the threads right now. We are right. one of the few. Mm -hmm. But I can go to Dr. Maupin and say, this is cutting edge. Go over the science with her, present the science to her, and she'll like, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Because the science makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times it does take things sometimes a little longer to get here locally. Mm -hmm. They'll start out on the coast. Mm -hmm. But what I love about BioBalance is that we're doing things that are new. They're innovative. We're well, not we just... only do the things that work. Exactly. So if, and you wouldn't present that to me, but a lot of people present all kinds of things, lasers. Right. And, and after looking at it, they don't mm -hmm. work and we don't do that because right. we don't do anything that isn't going to work for our patients. Right. I love that. Love that. We're going to a medical conference this next week and we go to the conferences and part of what you do when you're there is you, you go in this huge arena mm -hmm. where everybody's selling all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's a constant pitch. This will do, perform miracles. You need this. And let us put this in your office. Mm -hmm. And she has to evaluate all of that to see if it's mm -hmm. the kind of thing that she wants to put her name behind. Right. And, and most of these, the time I don't. And most of the time <laughs> because you don't. Because it just, you look, I, I understand how to look at the contents mm -hmm. of products. We have SkinCeuticals and they're medical grade, effective skin products. 
So compared to to SkinCeuticals, most of these kind of look awful, mm -hmm. you know. So, <laughs> so well, they don't have the science to back they them don't. up. And so, yes, they might feel good on your skin, but you really have to look at the ingredients in the mm -hmm. products. A lot of times companies will put things, ingredients in the products that are meant to feel good on your skin, but they're not doing anything at a cellular level. Mm -hmm. And that's what's important is that when you're using good medical grade skin care, that it's doing something at a cellular level. Okay. So are there things, uh, everything we're talking about is threading and a filler is something that goes under the skin, mm -hmm. inside the face to shape the face or strengthen, reestablish the faith. Uh, are there other things that you do or you just uh, focus on, on facial work? No. Well, one of the things we're really excited about is we're going to start offering a hair restoration program. Okay. So um, I am really, really excited about this and passionate about it. One of the things that we're doing that we you do not see a lot of, not only in our local St. Louis area, but in the Midwest even, is we're doing next generation PRP. So PRP is what you're seeing now out there in the market where we basically draw the patient's blood, we spin it, we're separating all the good stuff, the neutrophils, the platelets from the red blood cells, which you don't want. And we basically mm -hmm. extrapolate that from their blood and we inject it into the scalp. The thing with PRP is that it's spun at a little bit higher rate, a little bit higher G-force. So the concern is, is are we also getting rid of some of that good mm -hmm. stuff that we still need? Uh -huh. So with PRF, it's spun at a much lower rate, uh, lower G-force, and we're basically one of the first in St. Louis that's doing this. So you so do that in the office? You take the blood absolutely. and you put it in the machine and you do the spinning? Mm -hmm. and, and then what we do is we inject it right into the area where the thinness or the, the um, hair loss is happening. Now, you know, if someone is completely bald, has no hair in that area, those hair follicles are probably dead. I mean, I'm not going to get hair to grow in those areas. But if you look, you know, in an area and you still have active hair follicles, then we probably, and I say probably, okay, because everyone has hair loss for different reasons, but we probably can get you back about four to five years where you used to be. But what you have to realize is you have to get in now because we have to stop the hair from falling out. So what we do is we actually do a series of PRF injections, okay, in the area. These are little tiny needles? or they're... Very, very tiny, the tiniest that are made. So okay, very, so it's very, not that painful. We put a topical anesthetic on so that you're very comfortable. Okay. And we recommend a series about four weeks apart. And then we're going, so what? think of it as we just fertilize your yard, okay? <laughs> so we just <laughs> fertilize it. Yeah. What people don't realize is they'll get these injections and then they go home and they realize, so what happens if you fertilize your yard but you don't water it every day? The grass is going to die off. So what we do is we actually give you a scalp therapy that you take home and this is applied every night. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it stops the testosterone from turning to DHT. What we found out is testosterone, once it turns into DHT, it attaches to the hair follicle mm -hmm. and causing that hair follicle to choke off basically and fall out. So if we can stop that process mm -hmm. from happening, what you're doing is we're fertilizing the yard and now we're watering the yard every day. And now that's where we're gonna get our optimal results. So we're excited about offering that. So is that a mostly a, a, a patch work or quilt work uh, thing. Uh, I have a big ball spot in the back of my head from my wife slapping me upside the head off. And, and you uh, must deserve it. That's what she says. That's right. That's I, know. I know. So, so would something like that be beneficial to me if the hair follicles haven't all died? Yes. So absolutely. If you have active hair follicles in that area, then my main concern is we get you in let's fertilize everything. Let's start feeding nutrients to that hair follicle, okay? Then once we can get at least get good nutrients to the hair follicles, then with the scalp therapy, I can within about 90 days get the hair to at least stop falling out. Now, over time, over the next nine to 12 months, mm -hmm. now I'm gonna, because you gotta realize hair goes through cycles. So you have to kind of, you have to be in this with me for, for at least a good 12 months, okay? okay? But if the 90 days I can get the hair to stop falling out, then after that I'm gonna get that hair to start growing back in again. So I see a lot of elderly women that have like really thin hair. There's no yes. ball spot, but they're, mm -hmm. you can see their scalp under their, mm -hmm. their hair. Will this treatment work on that, where, where there's live hair all around, but Absolutely. lots of, uh, very thin follicle saturation. Well, I, I have a, an aside because those 
folks usually don't have very much growth hormone. Mm -hmm. And growth hormone makes your hair grow. And, and they don't have any testosterone or estrogen. They're getting androgens from their adrenal that's causing it a little bit thinness, but estrogen makes your hair grow too. Mm -hmm. So giving them their hormones back mm -hmm. helps give us what they need from inside. Mm -hmm. And usually that will help what you're doing and have, have that have their hair grow. So usually replacing the hormones makes it all work faster. So in any case, that's kind of what the other side of our business does. Well, that's practices. why when Dr. Maupin and I sat down and we chatted about this, I mean, to me, this goes hand in hand with what we're doing and what Dr. Maupin's right. doing with the hormones because many women, as they start going through menopause, as they start needing the hormones, mm -hmm. um, they will start seeing a loss of hair. Um, you know, personally in my family, we, we experience it, you know, and I look at my mother and, you know, I see how thin her hair is and I, you know, immediately was like, I want to stop that from happening to me. Mm -hmm. So if we can, you know, start it early right. and get to it quickly, um, we can, again, stop that hair from falling out mm -hmm. and, you know, hopefully get new hair to start growing by giving it good nutrients, stopping the testosterone from turning to DHT, but this really does go hand in hand with what Dr. Maupin's doing. So that's why I was so excited to bring this to Biobots. So essentially then, if, if I'm concerned about the condition of my face and, and it, the aging look, the bags under the eyes, mm -hmm. the wrinkled forehead, the jowls, those kinds of issues, and if I'm losing my hair and I'm starting to feel like, God, I look really old, I should make a consultation appointment with you and you and we can discuss all of these options and then you can lay out a treatment plan to address each of those concerns in an efficient uh, and successful way. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I would encourage, encourage people to please come in. Um, the one thing that um, I take pride in is that, you know, I will work within your budget. Um, we can take, you know, a multifaceted approach. If you want to say, you know what, I just, Dana, I just want to start on this area for right now. We can do that. This isn't an all or nothing. Um, and, you know, we're going to address the, your concerns, your main concern first, and we can work from there. But definitely get in, see me, let's do a consultation. Let's work out, like I said, a 30, 60, 90 day. So you're going to help me. You're going to say, oh, honey, don't worry about that forehead until you get these bags under your eyes taken care of. <laughs> you know, what I'm going to say is what bothers you the most? What bothers and you I'll the most? And I'll say, my wife said, what bothers you the most? <laughs> yeah, because she'll tell you. Yeah. I, have, I have one other thing that you do that I didn't even address, which okay. most of my patients are really excited okay. about. You take knees that are hanging and you thread them. Baggy, saggy knees? Saggy knees, and, yeah. and you thread them so that they are supported again. Because a plastic surgical lift of your thigh is a huge procedure, and it leaves you with big scars. Okay. So mm -hmm. this doesn't. This is just no those, those little threads just pull your thighs up. So that's one of the things my patients have been going, when she, when's she coming? When, when are we doing this? Okay, so the, the question... So you can do it all over your body. Not the guy's head, but the, I've heard. Can you do that with breasts that are sagging? You can, but it does depend on the size of the, the breast. size of the breast and how There's much sagging limit. there is. A load limit. A load oh, thank limit. Thank you. Yes. That was the question yes. about size that I had. <laughs> but I do, I, I do love Dr. Maupin's segue, and that is that we didn't really talk about other areas other than the face, and right. that is I love, love the threads in the neck. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, that's usually one of the first areas mm -hmm. that starts to get a little sagging. Right. Um, I just want to grow a beard so I can cover that <laughs> up. So, yes, I mean, I love doing threads in the neck. We also do a lot of threading and filler in the decollete. Um, as we age, um, a lot of times, you know, our chest has had a lot of sun damage. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. can use a combination of lasers, threading, filler. As Dr. Maupin said, we also have a great brand new laser that we can do some skin tightening as well as do a combination of the threads mm -hmm. in the front of the legs as well. All right. So a lot of fun stuff. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming in today. We're, we're happy you. to meet you, and we're happy that you're so at Balance Skin. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. I'm thank you. excited to be here. All right. Thank you for listening. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963.
You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.